would you say your career, just your own experience, is your career defined by mostly by flaws or by successes? Like oh, if again, there's great tension between those. If you haven't tried hard, yeah, right, and done something new, right, then you're you're not going to be facing the challenges when you build it. Then you find out all the problems with it, and. But when you look back, do you see problems or? Okay. Oh, when I look back, um, what do you? Remember? I think earlier in my career, yeah, like EV five was the second alpha chip. Mm -hmm. uh, I was so embarrassed about the mistakes I could barely talk about it, and it was in the Guinness Book of World Records, and it was the fastest processor on the planet. Yeah. So it was, and at some point I realized that was really a bad mental framework to deal with like doing something new we did a bunch of new things and some worked out great and some were bad and we learned a lot from it and then the next one we learned a lot that also you know, ev6 also had some really cool things in it i think the proportion of good stuff went up but it had a couple of fatal flaws in it that were painful and then uh yeah you, you, you learned to channel the pain into like pride not pride really you know just uh realization about how the world works okay. or how how that kind of idea set works life is suffering that's the reality what uh no it's not well i know the buddha said that and a couple <laughs> other people are, are stuck on it no it's you know there's this kind of weird combination of good and bad and you know light and darkness that you have to tolerate and you know deal with yeah there's definitely lots of suffering in the world Depends on the perspective. It seems like there's way more darkness, but uh, that makes the light part really nice. 